Today's guest is a distinguished personality. He's an expert in Chinese and African affairs and the Silk Belt and Road Initiative, which is an extremely important Chinese initiative to tie Asia to Africa and to Europe. 100 countries on top of which comes Egypt joined this initiative. Our guest is the writer of a column in the Chinese Focus magazine, or rather the China Focus magazine. He authored a great number of articles to the daily Chinese paper Global Times and China Daily, as well as China Investment, which are of the most important papers. We have with us Dr. Engineer Hisham Abu Bakr. Let's find out from him his debut and his story of success. It was my dream, actually, uh, from the beginning. I'm very. Uh, I, I felt that I, I have some talent about this mathematics and uh, geometry and lots of things like this. So uh, from my perspective, I was thinking that in the future, if I became like an engineer, that will give me my opportunity to express my interest about mathematics and geometry and those science. So I joined the uh, uh, Faculty of Engineering and I chose the computer uh, science, which is at uh, that time, uh, it was a very new branch and uh, it was a good opportunity for me because I was dreaming to make, uh, you know, design for new kind of uh, new kind of computers. Because we have the, learned how to design the computer at that time. It was very intelligent uh, ideas. And uh, I was hoping Egypt one, at that time to establish the first factory to produce computers. And I will join this uh, fraternity. But unfortunately, after graduation, I found this very uh, uh, it's, not, it's not that easy because the computer si uh, technology needs a lot of investments which was not uh, uh, available at that moment. Engineer Hisham Abubakr worked as Information Technology Director for significant investment conglomerates. He improved the company's hospitality systems. From my uh, beginning uh, for the career, I joined one of the most pioneer company in Egypt, which is uh, uh, very famous for uh, to be an agent for uh, international companies for different sectors, manufacturing sectors, and uh, hotel sectors, and industrial sectors, a lot of uh, banking sectors. And uh, from this time, I joined like 100 engineers in this company. It was very big. I was responsible for the sector of uh, hospitality systems, which is uh, hotels, uh, front desk, reservation, accounting, purchasing, point of sale. It was pioneer sector. Before, all the hotels was working manually the, on the paper, logs, and those things. But uh, since that, uh, the innovation of computer systems. So that field was very new in Egypt also. So I joined this pioneer field, and I was one of the first expertise in this uh, field. I was uh, very young, but I was called uh, expertise because uh, very few people in Egypt at that time know about this industry. Uh, I also traveled to a lot of places, Luxor, Dahab, Sharm el Sheikh, also hotels in Egypt, and a lot of famous and international hotels. I was responsible to give support and behave of those international companies. I also gave some ideas how to innovate those uh, systems to fit with our Egyptians demands and uh, also I was uh, joined with those expertise from foreign countries like uh, England, like uh, United States. So I actually changed my experience with them. At that moment I was very young so uh, I was have a good uh, uh, experience how to deal with international companies at that young age which made from me uh, 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 different thinking from normal you know uh, person just graduated from the university, I got a lot of experience in a very short time. Engineer Hisham Abubakr held the post of Director of Information Technology in the most important international hotels. He founded his first computer company in Sharm el Sheikh.
From the beginning, I was dreaming about uh, how to do business. And I want to get benefit from my experience and make my, some, uh, some uh, innovations in this industry. So I started uh, to open my own company. This company uh, was established in Sharm el-Sheikh because uh, my, my field is hospitality systems. And uh, it was very growing company since uh, just one year. I got 26 different customers, different big hotels dealing with me. I was giving support, technical support. I was giving internet service. I also giving supplies for computers and networking and uh, a lot of stuff the hotel needs. At that time, Charm Sheikh was not that easy to deliver the goods to them. So my responsibility is to make logistics for computers because computers are also supplies is very sensitive. Can you imagine if you want to check out from a hotel and you couldn't have some uh, how to print your invoice? And if you have some uh, restaurant check or have some your meals and the sto system stopped, so they cannot make the, your uh, charges. So this, uh, this uh, hospitality system is very sensitive and I have to run the system for 24 hours without stop. This makes me know how to be very efficient and how to think out of the box, how to solve the problem very fast. And all those stuff uh, of information and technology and those things should be in my mind. And uh, from my perspective, I was uh, very lucky because most of the time one engineer can fit with one system. But from my side, uh, one engineer can fit for several systems. So I've been working for at least six or seven different systems, telephone systems, point of sale systems, accounting systems. That gives me a very unique experience and makes me a very unique person. In a big turning point in his career, and a major one, engineer Dr. Hisham Abubakr worked for the ministries of trade and industry and worked in the field of economy. In my life, I found I cannot live for, for all, uh, all my life in Sharm el-Sheikh as a resort. Of course, I need to have a stable life, and uh, that's why I moved to live in Cairo. At that time, I want to change, change uh, another uh, point of view about uh, the work and the business. I'm no longer interested about my own uh, perspective only. I want to join the government. And uh, the, at that time, I joined Ministry of Foreign Trade and Industry. So I found it's, it's a must for me to learn something about uh, my uh, field of working, not just being uh, in engineering, to give support to my colleagues. So I started to do uh, some other things like uh, joining National Benaring Institute. National Benaring Institute is, it was a very good opportunity for me as I got uh, a diploma for uh, uh, accounting, uh, account and political science. And at that time I spent two years to complete all those uh, knowledge and the courses and got graduated after two years uh, full of hope that uh, those knowledge I can apply in my ministry. In another turning point, a drastic and major turning point actually, as we may qualify it, comes traveling to China. This had a major effect on his life. Uh, actually, uh, from the beginning, I was uh, trying to also to change my economic experience and uh, other experience in other countries, uh, but I didn't get any uh, opportunity. And after many years, I got this opportunity from the Chinese government. Chinese government gave us invitation to do seminar about trade negotiation. And uh, at that time, it was a very good chance because it's not only two or three days, it was 21 days. So I was happy to, to get the, this chance to visit as a delegation from Egypt. At, uh, at least 23 persons joined this seminar from different sectors from the ministry and uh, I was one of those lucky 23 person and uh, I spent 21 days in China as a seminar at uh, that time it was good a, ch a chance for me to get to know about China and to know about the, uh, some expertise in China and I had uh, the chance uh, there at that time I am the only person in the delegation that uh, engaged was uh, the Chinese expertise they even invited me to give lecture to uh, one of the biggest think tank in China. So at that time I joined the seminar to get lectures and also I gave lecture to them. So I spent, it was, I'm very proud 
the about myself at that time also very proud uh, for my country because I got a chance to give the Chinese professors a lecture at that time about the China Egyptian economy situation and how we can develop the relationship with China and I uh, spent a very wonderful time at that time and they left very good uh, uh, you know impression uh, at the uh, biggest and uh, all the think tank in China about my work at that time also after I returned back from this uh, visit to China and uh, uh, the Chinese side those expertise and the think tank and different institutes in uh, China uh, they was impressed about my uh, lecture and I found a lot of people saying I don't know contact me in Egypt and asking me to come to visit my office and exchange ideas about the economy, world economy and Chinese economy and even how to make a collaboration between Egypt and China. And I welcomed a delegation, first delegation came to me, was a, a director of an institute of Chinese Academy of Social Science, which is the biggest academy in China. The director himself came with a delegation, six different professors, and came especially to the ministry to visit, to visit me and spent uh, two hours talking with me and asking me how to develop the relationship, what is, uh, you know, the barriers and how to make the boosting, boosting between Egypt-China uh, uh, relations. And after that also another delegation came to me. And since that time, uh, all the Chinese uh, expertise and uh, economic uh, interested people and even the media people became very close to me from that uh, time. Engineer Hisham Abu Bakr was invited uh, to the cooperation uh, with the uh, energy field among all civilizational countries forum. He was invited as a main speaker. The forum was held in China. He was also invited by the Chinese Ministry of Trade to give an important speech about the Egyptian-Chinese bilateral relations and that was in Beijing. After, after uh, some time, I got an uh, invitation from Chinese uh, Petroleum uh, Ministry. And this is the biggest uh, company, in the real estate company, uh, not real estate, state company in uh, China. Invited me to attend uh, energy in the uh, ancient civilizations. This uh, conference or this uh, uh, was very uh, interesting and very unique because the first time the idea is together together the uh, very ancient countries, China, India, Iraq, Iran, and Egypt. And I was uh, lucky to represent Egypt. And uh, my, uh, my speech was uh, giving idea about Egyptian economy, development, and energy sector, and the future of the energy, and how we can cooperate with uh, ancient civilizations. So at that time, they gave me the invitation to join this, and I went there for four days. Uh, it was a wonderful uh, experience for me to represent my country. And uh, they, sa they said, your speech will be uh, put in a book, and we will distribute this book to other sectors in the government to get to know the valuable information about Egyptian economy and about energy sector, and how China can contribute to those uh, development. Some of the pluses that realized for engineer Dr. Hisham Abu Bakr are publishing his writings in private Chinese papers. Chinese media is very open media, but they are very sensitive about the quality. In the beginning, they asked me to write uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, state-owned uh, newspaper and magazines ask me to write about China-Africa cooperation and to give some ideas about this as expertise because you know uh, my information from those uh, directors and uh, professors in China they recommended me so the, I got uh, those invitations to write articles about this information and after I found Egypt has developed a new investment law which is very good uh, starting to reform and open up for the other worlds from Egypt perspective. So I found a chance, this is my duty now, to publish about this. And uh, immediately I wrote a very big article about uh, uh, the new investment law. And I published this article in two different places. One of those places is China Investment Magazine. Another one is Global Times. 
uh, and the Global Times, the newspaper, is the famous one in China. And they gave me a very big space to talk about Egypt, the new investment law, and to describe the opportunities in Egypt for investment. I found this very good to my contribution to my country, to, uh, you know, to promote the investment opportunities in Egypt and uh, to give new ideas about Egypt and uh, to get uh, those uh, businessmen and uh, the people in China to get them involved in our reform and opening up. So at that time it was the very beginning, but I continued to also publish about Egypt-China relations and how to boost those relations in different kinds, especially after the Chinese side has proposed a Belt and Road Initiative, which was very important for uh, the world and also jo Egypt joined this uh, initiative from the beginning. So I wrote a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, articles about the importance of Egypt in this initiative and how Egypt and China can collaborate together to hand in hand to boost this uh, initiative and get benefit not only for Egypt and also for the region and Africa. And because Egypt is now representing Africa, uh, as you know, Egypt is uh, head of African Union. Not only Chinese newspapers, but also engineer Dr. Hisham Abu Bakr got the chance to write for them. He also has a distinguished experience in Chinese television. The Chinese TV has different kind of media. has a group for uh, Britain media, another a lot of groups for uh, you know TV shows and uh, different kind of programs and news, sh live news and those things. So the, I, I cooperated with both. First, in the beginning, I cooperated with uh, uh, written media, which is a website of the Chinese uh, TV, CGTN English. And I published more than 19 different articles. Sometimes I publish every day different article, different kind of uh, 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 topics. And they said, Hisham, whenever you have good idea, just send it to us. And then I actually change with them ideas about uh, different countries and different uh, uh, topics. And it was good a chance for me to publish a lot of things about uh, Egypt also in the Chinese TV. And uh, this Chinese TV audience is a very large number of people. So uh, after that, they invited me to do a TV show, which is a different section of the Chinese media. And uh, I was uh, invited by the Arabic, uh, CGTN Arabic channel, which is targeting Arabic people uh, all over Arabic world. So the people, they are talking Arabic. So I was invited to cover a lot of Chinese uh, events like uh, Chinese uh, party uh, congress meetings and uh, Chinese uh, party congress uh, uh, news. And also I was uh, uh, commenting the Chinese economy and how the Chinese economy is developing, what is the challenges that Chinese economy will face. And also I joined uh, some programs covering the relations between uh, China and the Arabic world. And every time and from these uh, programs, always Egypt in my uh, thinking. And I always mentioning Egypt in this, uh, uh, involve Egypt in this uh, topics to make uh, the focal point also uh, very clear that Egypt is an important country. Even the Chinese economy is huge, but also Egypt also is a very focal point in this huge system. The master's degree experience that Dr. Engineer Hisham Abu Bakr acquired from China is a unique experience. Success story of engineer Dr. Hisham Abu Bakr isn't over yet. He's scoring more and more successes along the way and he's dreaming of more achievements in the future. When I'm talking about the, my uh, Master of Business Administration that I have uh, got from China, I'm talking about uh, a lot of knowledge. Because uh, from my perspective, I want to know more about the Chinese experience and the Chinese, uh, how they achieved this uh, big uh, uh, achievement to be the second largest economy in the world in such a short time and uh, how they managed to do this uh, growth rate 15% and 14% for many years. And even the lowest, lowest uh, growth rate is 6.55%. 
and uh, from my perspective I was eager to know all those information because I am concerned about my country and I want to transfer this knowledge and this experience that Chinese uh, have uh, to our uh, uh, government and to our businessmen and exchange those informations to make the required innovations for our policies, government policies and even the private policies. So uh, in my, from my point of view, joining this kind of uh, master degree, it was a very good opportunity for myself and also I consider it also for my country. So uh, the, the course only uh, lasts for 10 months, very con con concentrated and uh, very short course to get the master degree. And uh, it was very unique because uh, this course they brought to us very be uh, intelligent and experienced uh, professors and uh, businessmen and even politicians. We have uh, Prime Minister of Poland, ex-Prime Minister of Poland, ex-Prime Minister of Kosovo, uh, Bosnia and, uh, and uh, uh, head of uh, Asian Bank and head of uh, Latin American Bank. A lot of different uh, professors and uh, lecturers and expertise and businessmen came to join this course and give us lectures. That's enrich our knowledge and not just from the books but also from the real life and uh, a lot of uh, Chinese uh, local expertise also exchange with us the ideas and the experience that the Chinese uh, society has uh, challenges and uh, how they developed not only from the lectures and the sitting and the training uh, courses room but also we got uh, field trips two field trips to uh, touch uh, Napoton uh, all the lives uh, in real for the factories for the industrial zones for different uh, government officials, how they done manage those uh, things, the daily life. And uh, this was very unique. Uh, the second uh, thing I want to mention about my study is uh, that I have, uh, I got achieve, achievement from the, my university to be the best uh, CISIS award. And my uh, CISIS was about uh, China, Egypt, economic zone, Suez economic zone. And uh, this uh, research I did, was very unique and very, uh, you know, uh, important for the Chinese, uh, China and e Egyptian sides. So they, re uh, they gave me this reward. The reward is a certificate and also as uh, money combined with the certificate uh, reward. And uh, from my perspective, I choose this uh, topic because I want to promote this uh, uh, Suez Canal economic zone uh, also in China and all over the world because my research will be recognized for all the researchers, not only in China, also in other uh, countries all over the world. As you know, the research is published on the, in the system. So um, all the information I gathered from uh, my research and I bought very valuable information about my country and the importance of my country and the importance of Suez Canal Economic Zone and how to develop this area. What is the benefits, the, the investors, entrepreneurship, or the enterprises will get if they invest in, the, in my country. So also a good opportunity for me to promote my country and encourage the investments. This is uh, was uh, my, my also perspective when I choose this topic, to choose something related to my country and uh, make some benefits from it. <laughs>
as a special person and promoted very high level of uh, jobs because he is different from others. So I also learned from him how to be different. Not only one person like uh, following others way. No, you should learn how to make your own bus, your own uh, stamp in the world, your own ideas. So to be a unique person. So and all these things I learned from my uh, father. My dream in the future uh, is actually is not a personal dream because I traveled uh, to many countries like uh, England, like China many times. So um, my dream is Egypt to become uh, uh, one of the most uh, developed country in the world. I hope maybe in the next uh, 10 years or 15 years, Egypt become like uh, a third or fourth country in the world with respect to economy development. And uh, I found Egypt is a very big uh, economy and uh, the perspective for our development is very high uh, uh, to be uh, one of those countries. But we need a lot of uh, change in our uh, uh, policies and a lot of changes in our uh, culture, also uh, work culture. And uh, some uh, systems have to be changed. Uh, so policy, culture, systems. It's very important to achieve all those things together, to make the, the car of the economy going fast and going forward. And uh, I hope this dream become true while I'm alive.